Okay, so we have stage six, Tour of Columbia. Uh, Quintana goes for the win after getting knocked off his bike by a fan. So he was going quite well. And uh, Quintana riding a disc brake bike. Actually, no, he wasn't. He chooses not to ride the disc brake bike. And so does Miguel Lopez on the Argon rim brake. We've got a good rim job there. So Miguel on the Argon rim. Uh, rim jobs all around in terms of the podium uh, of Tour Columbia. So we've got, uh, you know, even Daniel Martinez. He could have ridden that new Cannondale tank, but he chose to stay at the Super 6 Evo. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is, because the pros know that uh, Sugar is good and rim brake bikes. That's what you want to get. If you wanted to win an uphill stage GC, uh, it's going to give you the biggest advantage possible. So it's interesting. We'll see if we can get some footage here. It almost looks like Richie Port. Um, then the, so Ala Philippe, he won the stage the other day on the disc brake bike, but when it came down to stage six, even though he's a lightweight little climber skinny guy, he got uh, he got smoked. He got smoked. Um, and just just quickly, I'll just show you the results in a second, but you notice that the the you know, the EF riders, the Cannondale team, all rode rim brakes. Well, no disc brakes to be seen on the climbs, even though it was Cannondale claimed their aero bike is faster up the hill than the climbing bike. <laughs> <laughs> but the pro peloton's like, nah, fuck that. We're we're running the uh, the evos, which is great. That um, you see here, you see uh, Julian and his disc brake bike got dropped today. Even a few continental local riders finishing faster than him on the climbs. So it just goes to show that uh, disc brake bikes, Alaphilippe definitely held back when every second mattered. Uh, he would definitely not choose this bike for the uphill. But the Quickstep riders have no choice. They have no choice. Unlike the Canada riders, they have a choice to ride disc or non-disc. So I think that's great. Um, I think that's great. I think that's a smart move by Canada. Uh, Sky, again, have the choice, disc brake or not. And they just choose rim, rim brake. Chris Froome is like rim brake. So, yeah. Iran is his big non aero sunnies. All right, so let's go down to the results. So we're going to go rim brake versus disc brake. Quintana, all these guys, rim, 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 rim. These guys are local riders on beta bikes, rim brake bikes, all right? Rim, 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 rim. It's probably going to be a bit annoying when I keep saying rim, but uh, the first disc brake rider was Julian Alaphilippe, and he's, he was getting beaten by, you know, local riders, just local amateurs, Colombian kids smashing Alaphilippe in front, you know, so... Just goes to show, um, you know, that the disc brake bikes are disadvantage in a race like this. So Alaphilippe, two minutes down, two minutes down out of the GC. And let's have a look at the rest of the disc brake riders. They're, wow, they're really far down. They're really, they've got one, Bob Jungle, seven and a half minutes down. Bob Jungle's a good rider. Seven and a half minutes down. Um, you know, obviously there's more to the story, maybe a flat tire or whatever. But in general, the quick step team just got smoked on their disc brake bikes, so it's interesting to see. It's 21 minutes down, 21 minutes down, 24 minutes down, disc brake bike rider. And the last two riders, 26, you know, almost out of the time cut. They still finish, good on them, they still finish, but again, on heavy disc brake bikes, rubbing brakes. Let's have a look at the GC. Let's have a look at the GC. Uh, we have, wow, so, 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 all these rim brakes, rim brake, rim brake, rim brake. Where's the closest disc brake bike rider? Um, closest disc brake bike rider. And where's Julian? Alaphilippe. Is he even there? What's the deal? Surely Julian Alaphilippe's up there. Have I missed him or what's going on here? Oh, this is the young rider. My mistake. Come on, Harley. More carbs, please. Um, yeah, so Alaphilippe, 1 minute 33 down, which is huge. Which is huge. Which, for... Alaphilippe to be up there with Iran and Hunau, you know, who are on rim brake bikes. That shows that Julian's in some incredible form, but unfortunately held back by his team forcing him to ride disc. So, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Um, so, Alaphilippe beaten by some others. They're all, they're all these guys are all climber types, skinny dudes, you know. Skinny guys. Woo. So, yeah, interesting stuff, isn't it? That's the results there. The rim brake the rim brake bikes dominated, just like I said they would, 
and we'll see as we go into the Tour de France and the Dauphiné, we'll just see again rim brake bikes dominating despite the marketing hype that did some more aero, did some faster uphill, according to the you know, just anyway, anyway. So there you go, proofs and results. When it, when the big race matters, all the big hitters.